the life of a lesser known ex contender, Carl the Tooth Williams, always known as the sparring partner's sparring partner. He has made more appearances in the ring than any other boxer in history. He's taken blows from the very best. Joe Lewis, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, just to name a few. Um, Tooth, now, what is it that all these great boxers have in common? Uh, they all kick my... <laughs> I can see that. A lot of people say you look like a Barnum and Bailey clown that's been run over by a damn truck. How do you respond to that? Oh, uh, well, uh, that's cool and all that, but, you know, I had done that for a minute. But my boxing skills is what have brought me from from the ground floor, you know, and plus with my with my hood, you know, rolling boxes, we rolled up like that, you know. <laughs> got some sort of a gang you're in there? Yeah, it's a boxing gang, you know, because we do like drive-by punches. You know, we uh, drive up, <laughs> boom, bust somebody's head, and ah! Well, that is incredible. Now, why ex exactly do they call you the tooth? Basically, I got one tooth, and it's a strategy behind that, because I figure if I only got one tooth, they can't focus in on all my teeth and knock them out. Uh -huh. So I keep going. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> what is all this about? Man, this, uh, this is a promotional thing. What we do is I'm trying to help, you know, the kids in the hood and all that whole thing. So if they come in and knock me out, they get a free meal, you know, but... Tyson ain't show. Mm -hmm. I done wrote letters and everything. He ain't show. So, you know, I'm just doing it myself. Uh -huh. Hey, what's this all about? If I knock you out, I get a free dinner? Well, ain't that what the sign said? Ain't it what it said? I'll give us a shot. Well, bring it on, G. What's the guy? Ah, ain't the shot. <laughs> what in the smelly hell did you do that for? <laughs> you knock him out, you get a free dinner. You don't say it. Tooth, are you all right? Hey, man, don't stop it. Don't stop it. Get in the car, cuz. Get in the car. Get in the car, cuz. Get in the car, cuz. Let's roll up, cuz. Roll up. Uh, 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 Tooth, I, I, think, I think you're having a flashback. Oh, 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 straightly. Well, basically, he had hit me in the head. That's happened before. And like I said, basically, boxing got my head dizzy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he didn't hit me like I had been hit. Uh, Tooth, you were knocked out. Now, I saw your face wrapped around his fist. See, that's, comments. that's what you had seen, but that's like the Jedi boxing theory. Mm -hmm. When they swing and they hit my face, that's actually hitting the back of my head. And that's what <laughs> keep me on point. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Jimmy, go over there and let Mama take your picture with the champ. Come on, now. I bet you look at your little personal weight. I bet you want an armor grab with something from the champ, don't you, boy? No, I want a free dinner. <laughs> hey, man. That was sweet. Now, come on, let's get our free meal. Hey, that's the club from Star Trek, ain't it? <laughs> anyway, man, that was a low blow, man. I want to reach. I want a rematch, man, because I want Tyson, man, you know, and I want Tyson, and I want the kid, too, man. Uh, he two <clears throat> You know, a lot of people say maybe you're past your prime. Straight up, straight up. And uh, we all know you suffered very many medical setbacks, two detached retinas, <laughs> swelling of the brain and the heart, two strokes, and a heart transplant. Uh, now, exactly how old are you? Uh, man, I ain't but 16 and a half, man. <laughs> but uh, I'm in the record books, man. Uh, as you see, uh, Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. straight up. Uh, Larry Helms, mm -hmm. straight up, and the, and the one and only Jerry Cornbread. I tighten him up, man, because I be rolling, you know, roll belt. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> hey, you know, because I need some Tyson, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Look to me like you need a dentist. Well, you, you look like you need a punch in your face, LaWanda. What's up? What you want to do, huh? Ah, that was simply incredible, unbelievable. How do you feel? Forget Mike Tyson, he's in jail. I want Riddick Bo! Riddick Bo! Get the car, Get the car, My name's Jim Hill, and we'll be back after the special. Doctor, do you have anything else uh, to add? Uh, the information I provided for you is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, there's so much more evidence that clearly shows that boxing not only causes great physical damage, but neurological damage as well so you think boxing should be outlawed huh yes i do well thank you very much doctor <clears throat> all right send in the next expert witness please <laughs> Yeah, 
good to be back in Caesar's Palace. Uh, I feel that the fight will go at least seven rounds. <laughs> but you know, he had yeah, he had me running back on my heels. Sir, can you state your name, please? Oh, oh, straight up, straight up. Uh, call the tooth, Williams. <laughs> call the tooth to set you free. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. Williams, uh, you fought some of the world's greatest fighters, uh, George right. Foreman, Muhammad Ali, right. and so on. Uh, what would you say they all have in common? Uh, they all kick my ass. <laughs> Basically, that's, that's what had happened. You know, they, they all uh, had kicked my ass. But you know, that ain't the thing, though, because I want me to... I want me some Tyson. That's what I want, understand? You know, but he's trying to hide from me, but I'm going to find him, you know, because uh, I want some Tyson. Uh, Mr. Williams, <clears throat> regarding your health, yeah. uh, do you feel that boxing uh, has in any way uh, affected your sex life? Well, she ain't with me no more, but I don't think that really has anything to do with, you know, my boxing. You know, I don't know who told you about all that, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, it ain't like I can't still, you know, swing when I get inside the bed, you know. Mr. Williams, wouldn't you agree that boxers who have taken as many blows to their head as, as you have, uh, shall we say, lost something upstairs? Uh, basically. <laughs> basically, they have. And, uh, but, you know, it's nothing to do with boxing. See, what it is, it's a ploy and a plan for this Senate and everybody here to try to keep me away from Tyson. And I got to have some Tyson. I mean, according to our file, you've sustained multiple injuries to your, your jaw, your head. Yeah, yeah, you look like that fellow on Star Trek. <laughs> Don't he? Straight up, cuz, he look just like him. But anyway, I take, I take exemptions to that because, you know, even in the ring, you know, I keep my tooth polished, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm selling these five ninety nine out at the crib and stuff. Y'all want to come by and get yourself? You can. Uh, Mr. Williams. Yeah, Mr. Williams. <clears throat> Over your career, how many blows to the head would you say you have taken? <laughs> I took all of them to the head. <laughs> but I mean, that's the best way to take it. Take it to the head. You know what I'm saying? Come on down here. Let me show you what I'm talking. Uh, about. Just let him demonstrate. <laughs> Now, now, what you want to do? Cause come at me now. Come on with your best shot. Come on, what you want to do? Oh, come on, with your best shot. Come on. <laughs> uh, he caught me with one. It was a rabbit punch. I think, you know, don't stop the fight, though. Don't stop the fight. Don't stop it, man. I can go on. Don't stop it, man. Oh, don't throw the towel in, man. Uh, Y'all want a Coke or Sprite or something? Because it's a two-drink minimum if you're sitting in these chairs. Mr. Will. I got to see some ID from y'all. I think you're helping your cause by demonstrating this kind of vicious Oh, you trying to you trying to dog me? You you trying to dog me, Mr. Williams? Well, come on, Marsha Brady, come on! What you want to? Ah! Well, basically, the reason that I didn't hit is because I respect women, and uh, you know the whole boxing got my head dizzy, and she called me off guard. Miss Williams. You, you claim that boxing's been very good to you. Yeah, in but a I, sense, in a sense. Uh -huh. well, but, but I hardly think that your report, let alone your record, supports your claim. Oh, yeah, I do have a record out. It's called uh, Call the Tooth in the House, and it's like, um, got the cake on icing, going to give me some types of... Your testimony's been very helpful and very enlightening. Thank you for your time, and you'll get our decision later. No, there ain't gonna be no decision. No, I got to have mine. That's, the, that's how they took my last fight from me. It ain't gonna be no decision. What you talking about decision? You see, you all sitting over there all bourgeois uh, and stuff. Charlie no, that's what it is. That's a little bourgeois. Hey, man, hey, man you better uh, get up off me, man. Get up, my, get up, my, my head is this. I understand that some of you are stunned by Thomas Hearn's choice of a challenger for his comeback. His opponent, a virtual unknown by the name of Carl the Tooth Williams unranked by the WBA, the WBC, the IBF, and the WBF. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Tooth Williams. Tooth, uh, where were you born, Tooth? Basically, I was born, though, in CPT. <laughs> Mr. Williams, what would you say to those who contend that you're completely out of your league and no match for Mr. Hitman Thomas Hearn himself? Well, I, I think they should read the paraphernalia. <laughs> well, 
Well, what about your record? My record speaks for itself. Uh, Tooth, your record is zero and 217. Yeah, but I'm closing in fast on that number. But, uh, like I said, my record speaks for itself, but it don't necessarily speak for myself. <laughs> Whatever I had said. And, anyway, I got new techniques right now. Ah, training techniques? No, actually, I got new brushing techniques. See, I feel that a clean toothpaste is a happy toothpaste. <laughs> Tooth, I've got a question for you. Uh, what do you? What would you say that uh, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, and, and George Foreman all have in common? Uh, basically, uh, they all kick my ass. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Hearns is entering the building. Now. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm staring him down. I'm getting into his head. Tooth, that's his manager. Oh, snap. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Uh, uh, Mr. Hearns, Mr. Hearns, ask your question. There's some people out there who think that Carl the Tooth Williams poses no danger to your title. Well, that's not true. Every bone in his body has been broken, so that makes him flexible. Tooth, uh, you've got to feel like you're pretty much completely out of your league. Well, you know, basically, that's what they had said when I fought Sugar Ray Leonard and Chavez. Uh, right, and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard broke your spine and your jaw and uh, knocked you out in 12 seconds. Well, he did, but a lot of people didn't report that I was back on solid foods within 10 weeks. <laughs> Tooth, whom do you credit your success to? I credit all my success to the man upstairs. God? No, Mr. Johnson in 2B, he used to run me down to the gym every day. And I also give it up to my mama. Come on out, mom. Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams. Just call me gum. Oh, oh, listen, son, you forgot your uh, two for take. There you go, baby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Gums, what was it like uh, bringing up uh, your, your son? I remember the uh, very first day of second grade, he come home, his eyes all swollen up shut, and he just kept saying, Cut it, mommy, cut it, mommy. Uh -huh. He was so cute. You know, we didn't have much money back in them days, but luckily, it seemed like the tooth fairy would be there uh, every other day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and basically, as mom had reiterated, uh, uh, I was trying to tell him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> because it was after the bell had rang. And I feel like I will regain my title. But after that falling down, I feel like I'm kind of warmed up now. Look out! Like, ah, ah. Well, you warmed up, huh? Come yeah. on, I got something for you. You fall all the contenders from Tyson to Ali. But boy, you must be crazy to step into the ring with me. Ah! Whoa! I got your back, up. Don't oh, worry. Hey, hey. Don't, don't. Hey, boy, hey. hey. I'm, it wasn't I'm, like that, but you got to Listen to me. Listen, 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 list
Oh, well, you know, see, I had to I had to ask myself that question sometimes, too, you know, because I was just, I was supposed to be here with Don King, right? He said he was going to give me the fight, right? But he didn't want to fly a brother in, right? And I got a homie, his name is Luke, right? He said, hey, don't worry about it. I dropped you right over the fight. Don't show here I is. Well, well, that's fine, too, but why why this parachute? Oh, uh, well, I tried it without it, but it's hard on the spine. <laughs> Right, Chief, uh, why, uh, why do you think they should give you a shot at the title after this thing? Well, here? you know, considering, you know, this this is just the way I should be. You know, I should have a title. You know what I'm saying? Considering the WA ranks you at the bottom of the list, uh, what makes you think you're worth a, a title shot? The reason they rank me at the bottom of the list is because it's in alphabetical order. Uh-huh. See, uh -huh. it's A, B, C, D, uh... All them other letters and then T. Uh, well, well, actually, too, the WBA ranks of boxers according to number of victories, overall points, and difficulty of opponents. Is that what they do? That's what they do. <laughs> okay, well, straight, you know, but that, I guess, you know, changing my name wouldn't help me, huh? I'm afraid not to. Well, hey, don't sweat. Hey, man. Hey, man. Why don't you hey, get out hey, the hey, ring hey, and let some I real fighters fight, I man? See, I see you got your back turned. I see you got your back turned. I'm over here, man. I'm over here. What I'm, I'm over here, man. That's what I'm saying. Well, then it's on there, man. Come on, man. You, man, why we gotta do all this? Man, 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 I trained six months for this fight. Hey, well, that's your problem. You need to quit training and start fighting. That's what I'm saying. Man, I'll take you out. Oh, did you know? Oh, take me out there. KFC got a special rotisserie. Look, <laughs> 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 a shot at that title. You damn hippie. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Harris, are you ready to make your opening statement? Yes, I am, Your Honor. My client has filed a paternity suit to obtain child support from the father of the child. And where is the alleged father of the child? I wish I could tell you that, Your Honor, but we... <laughs> Your Honor, this is the defendant, Carl DeTooth Williams. Mr. Williams, is this your attorney? No, he just hanging. <laughs> then are you handling yourself? Uh, well, not right now. You know, it's kind of hard to get to it with the pick, you know. <laughs> now, Mr. Williams, what I want to know is will you be acting as your own lawyer? Well, as the famous scholar Leon Sphinx has said, any boxer who represents himself has a fool for a client. So you will be representing yourself? Basically. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call Carl the Tooth Williams to the stand without Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Please. Raise your right hand. <laughs> Please raise your right hand. Oh, oh, it's great, it's great. Your other right. Uh, uh, skip it. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? It's all good. <laughs> Your Honor, I will prove that this man was intimate with my client the night of May the 8th, the Snooty Fox Motel on Crenshaw. Oh, uh, see, that's the lie, because see, the Snooty Fox is on Western. No, actually, it's on Vermont. Please continue. I thought I saw it. Uh, Mr. Williams, my client was the card girl at your bout against Razor Reddick. Do you recognize her? Uh, look, man, sometimes within that whole round, I was knocked into a coma. So, you know, I don't really, you know. And when did you come out of that coma? <laughs> uh, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> If it pleases the court, I'd like to show you Exhibit A. <laughs> A is for apple, J is for jack, cinnamon toasted apple jack. Hey, girl, get to the point, please. You need a good breakfast, and that's where it's at. Mr. Harris. All right, start it off with apple jacks. All right, now look. This bra was found on the floor in your hotel room. Explain that to us. Can you do that? Well, after... Explain it, man! Hey, brother, it's all good. 
Well, basically, you see what had happened was is that we ran out of coffee filters, and I said, hey, look, what you doing with that on around your chest, Aaron? And so we used that, and then, you know, I had told her that my nipples were, uh, had dilated, and I needed, uh, I needed, I needed, I needed some circumference. the truth. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you weep for Santiago because he had no code. He had no honor. <laughs> now can I go now? Mr. Harris, get on track, please. If it pleases the court, I'd like to recreate the event of that evening. If it please me, I would like for you to uh, proliferate the, the same uh, procrastination. Would the plaintiff please approach the bench, please? Come on. You're all right. Like it's all right. It's the night of May the 8th, 1992. Damn, I'm still writing checks and putting 1977 on them. I got to <laughs> I knew they were sending the checks back for summer. The two of you check into the Snooty Fox Motel. Anyway, Erko. You went into the... <laughs> Your Honor, I will admit that Urkel is about my age now. <laughs> you went into the Snooty Fox under the name Carl the Tooth Williams. As you had mentioned, that is ridiculous. Why would I make up a name like that? <laughs> Sir, that is your real name. In this country. <laughs> Besides the fact that you look like you've been chewing on black jelly beans, what happened next? I'll tell you what happened. He took me up to my room and everything happened so quickly. I mean, the whole thing lasted maybe two minutes. I was down for a quick count. <laughs> After the fight. Is what the hell we're talking about here? Is that what we're talking That's about? That's what we're talking about. Well, step on. At the hotel. <laughs> well, after the fight, she, you know, she was coming at me pretty hard. She was hitting below the belt. But I stuck with my strategy. I was sticking and moving, sticking and moving. <laughs> so, from what I can tell, he is admitting that he had relations with my client. No, we just had sex. <laughs> I rest my case. Anybody in their right mind can see that this child was fathered by the tooth. Oh, no. See, this can't be my child because Jerry Carroll ain't wet it down. It's all dried up. He ain't got no teeth in his head. What's going on? Hey! Come on, two. Man, I think you got me with a sucker punch, man. I need a rematch. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on. The are going to with this. Now, class, we're going to have a new student join our class today. He's a little bit older than the rest of us, <laughs> but he wants to finish his education. Okay. Um, where is he? Yeah, where is he? Uh -huh. <laughs> Carl Williams? You could call me the tooth because all my friends call me that. Because uh -huh. uh, you only have one tooth? Well, you know, I never really thought about it, but I do have one, too. Uh, I have brought you the traditional apple. Oh, well, thank you. Do, <laughs> Ain't no thing. It's got, it, it, it has a tooth bite. Yeah, but see, it's all good. See, I got hungry waiting on that, on that big green school bus to come pick us up, man. Big green? That sounds like a, a garbage truck. Ain't no wonder they had me hanging off the back of that thing. You know, I was thinking... <laughs> It sure was stuck. Uh, yeah, well, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> what you want? It's uh, 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 You ain't got nothing. Uh, you ain't got nothing. Uh, uh, toothy, yeah. to, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to get up in his head. What's up? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, Mr. Williams. What's up? Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Look, please. don't throw in the towel, Tish. Look, I'm just telling you, I can take you number skin and bone. Look at you. <laughs> Mr. Williams, since you're new, how would you like to lead the class in the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, it's all good. I pledge allegiance to. The United States of uh, America. America. 
Yeah, basically. And uh, <laughs> she can be covered for a standing eight count. And after that, you should go into your neutral corners until I call for you. No blows below the belt. And you have the right to remain silent. You know, anything you say can and will be used against you. Let's all stand for Job Watner. Nice try, Carl. Would you please sit down? Amen. Uh, <laughs> now, subject for today is the human anatomy, all right? Now, who would like to tell me how many bones are found in the human body? Yes. You know, I know I'm out of place, and I don't mean to step in front of the white girl, but I would like, <laughs> I would like to answer the question, and I believe it is 733. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's way too many bones. <laughs> well, you should have seen the x-rays after I had the Holyfield fight. You fought Vander Holyfield? Yes, I did. <laughs> I was in the cheap seats, and uh, I was, like, going, you know, to my seat. You know how you're trying to get by somebody, and I slipped and fell because I was trying to catch my peanuts because them peanuts it was good, you know what I'm saying? I and see, it... yes. All right, let's move on to our lab subject. Wait, now, today we're going to dissect this frog to see what the internal makeup is. <laughs> Who would like to volunteer? You know, I may be out of line, uh, no. but I don't want to get ahead of well, anybody well, else, but I would love to see the frog. Carl, of course. Come on, now. You see... Oh, what excuse me. <laughs> All right, boys, boys. Wait, All, chill right. Out, chill All out. right, boys. Chill out. All right, boys. All right, what we need to do. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what we need to do is carefully open up the frog's thoracic cavity with the scalpel. Yes. Now, do you know what a thoracic cavity is? Well, basically, I have had a lot of cavities, and, uh, <laughs> which has left me the way I am. Uh -huh. you know, I don't need no instrument, you know, because all I need is these gloves to open them up, because these are precise, you know, these are precise instruments, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, what, what are you saying? doing? What are you doing? You've ruined the specimen. Oh, you need a specimen? Well, let me run to the bathroom while I'm thinking. I'll have Mr. Williams, I don't want to have to see you after school. Oh, you don't or you do? Because, you know, it sounds like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get my little thing on. I'm in training right now. So I got to save all my fluids, you know, but I'll make a little exception. You know, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, girl. Yo, you know, you was right, Mick. Women do sap your energy, man. Oh, crazy. All right. Trust me, sit out of here. I don't want to see any of you anymore.